Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet a closed scallop stitch, uh, which is the stitch that you see here. Unlike some of your other uh, fan and uh, scallop stitches. The closed scallop is uh, as it's titled. It's a little bit closer creating a, a bit of a dense, uh, more dense fabric, yet it still has that pretty fan look to it. So that's the stitch that we are going to work on today. Grab your hook and some yarn and uh, let's get started. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd like to update it weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials, such as the one that you're going to see here today. Now the closed scallop stitch, because of the way that it's worked, it's not a yarn eater, so it's great for a variety of projects from your blankets to clothing uh, to accessories and uh, items for the kitchen. So it's just a great stitch. It's fairly versatile as well. What we're going to do uh, to begin is make our slip knot and for the closed scallop stitch you're going to need a multiple of six stitches plus one for your starting chain. Okay so today I'm going to chain a total of 19, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So again, you can start a foundation chain of any multiple of six stitches and then just add one for that starting chain. For row one, I'm going to begin by working two double crochet stitches in the fourth chain from hook. So I'm going to count in one, two, three, four. In this fourth chain, I'm going to work two double crochet stitches. Next you're going to skip two chains, one, two, and single crochet in the next chain. Skip two chains, one, two, and then in your next chain, you're going to work four double crochet stitches. You're now going to repeat. So skip two chains, single crochet in the next chain, skip two chains, work four double crochet stitches in your next chain. You're going to continue to repeat that all the way across for the length of your starting chain. And when you come to your last three chains, you're simply going to skip two and single crochet in that final chain. And that brings you to the end of your row one. For row two, you're going to chain three and turn your work. You will now work two double crochet stitches in that same stitch as your chain three. So in that first single crochet stitch, work two double crochet stitches. Next, skip two double crochet stitches, one, two, and then in between that second and third double crochet stitch of that um, group of four there, you're going to work one single crochet stitch. So in between, you may have to pull your stitches apart a little bit, in between those two stitches, work one single crochet stitch. Skip the next two double crochet stitches and in the next single crochet work four double crochet.
you're going to repeat that all the way across. So skip two double crochet in between the second and the third, work one single crochet stitch, skip two double crochet stitches, and in the next single crochet, work four double crochet stitches. So your scallops are always worked in clusters of four double crochet stitches. When you come to your final three stitches, your chain three and your last two double crochet stitches, you're simply going to work your single crochet in between that second double crochet stitch and your chain three. And that will bring you to the end of your row two. Now for the rest of the pattern, you're simply going to repeat that row two. So chain three, work two double crochet in that first stitch, skip two double crochet and in between the second and the third you'll work one single crochet stitch, skip two double crochet and work four double crochet stitches in that next single crochet stitch. Repeat that all the way across to the end of your row. So skip two, single crochet in between the second and the third, skip two, four double crochets in your next single crochet stitch. And that's all there is to working this closed scallop stitch. So you can see it's going to work up fairly quickly. You're not going to use a whole lot of yarn. When you come to your final three, work one single crochet in between that second double crochet stitch and your chain three. And then repeat row two. So thank you so much for joining me on this stitch tutorial on how to crochet the closed scallop stitch. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I look forward to crocheting again with you soon. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.